<laughs> Sex, scandal, and a prime minister making headlines for all the wrong reasons. This image of Italy isn't one business appreciates. Italy is built on old family businesses, like this one that makes machines to process fine wool. But Mario Ploner says Italy needs innovation too, like this new method to clean up oil spills with wool. We are very well known all around the world in studying and producing always novelties, always a new application, new solution. For good luck, the brands of Italy that we are supporting are living longer than uh, our prime minister. This is Italy's wool manufacturing heartland, birthplace of venerable old brands like Ceruti and Zenia. These are difficult times for European textiles, but companies here have managed to survive through innovation and by trading on Italy's reputation for quality. For businesses, Berlusconi's legal trials may not be crippling, but they have an impact. This is affecting foreign investments in Italy. There is a feeling of instability. So foreign investors are reluctant to invest here. But Italian entrepreneurs going abroad don't suffer, apart from the odd jokes. People try to see beyond all this. Italians say their $2 trillion economy shouldn't be lumped together with others on Europe's southern rim. GDP is set to grow 1.5% in 2011, faster than last year. Portugal's and Greece, by comparison, are expected to shrink. <laughs> Business leaders say Italy is still going strong. Italians, uh, when you know them, when you know their capacity, their entrepreneurs, uh, you, f you, you get surprised by their um, competitiveness and their quality. And actually, you should think that uh, uh, Italian companies now uh, employ more than a million and five hundred thousand people in their branches abroad. But anger against Berlusconi is growing, and that could create the one thing markets least like uncertainty.